So the ACCA have announced the results just yesterday for the skills and professional level paper for those students who had given their examination in December 22 attempt. So there are many students who have qualified and I was really happy on seeing those messages early in the morning that you guys qualified. So I congratulate everyone who has qualified their ACCA examination. Each and every step, each and every paper you qualify is a milestone achieved. I've said it again and I'm going to say it again and again. Each paper is a milestone achieved. And for those people who have completed the ACCA qualification, I congratulate you also on becoming an affiliate and your way towards becoming a member. Now with that, I've also seen few students who could not qualify the examination. Now, I'm not going to say that maybe the paper valuation was not good or something which is at the fault of the institute, nothing like that. Where I've seen messages coming in from students, really heartbreaking that they lost it by one mark, two marks, four marks, like a paper is for 100 marks and to pass you need to get 50 marks and students have got 46, 47, 48. These are really heartbreaking numbers. Like you just missed out by a few marks. Now I'm going to be a bit practical here on where you have lost out. Now get this right. At the start, when you're preparing for a paper, it is a hundred mark paper and you get to know that 50 you need to achieve to pass the examination. When you target 50 as a number that you need to achieve 50 in this examination, you may fall short by around somewhere in 40s. But if you keep your target like somewhere around 80, 90 or let's be a bit more practical that keep your target as 80, you'll somewhere end up in you know 60s and 70s. The point here is when you've got this 48, 49 marks, you've not lost just by one or two marks, you've lost by 51 and 52 marks. There were the opportunities which you lost and that's straight and practical. That is straight that you guys did not prepare well. It was not enough for the examination and you need to prepare more. Now, when I say this, it's not just by, you know, I'm saying that you did not study well. It has happened with me. I've gone through it. I have seen it, you know, like two, three marks coming short of for an examination, two marks coming short and failing that examination, have to pay the examination fees once again, have to prepare once again. I have gone through it. And it was really hard for me to accept that I did not prepare well because I had put in day in, day out efforts. Lekin, samjho is baat ko, the efforts which you have put, wo enough nahi hai. That is not enough. You need to put in more efforts. Now, when I say you need to put in more efforts, you are not going to get a better result by putting in the same methodology of study. Or, ya phir aise mind aap, magar, main bata raho aapko ki kaise zahaniyat hogi. Abhi ke exam mein mujhe 48 aaye hai, suppose. तो मुझे दो या तीन माह की और पढ़ना था, I would have been cleared it. मैं ऐसा भी सोचा। जब मैं student था, I also thought the same, and I also faced a problem once again. See, this failure has come to teach you a lesson, and the lesson is that you need to have an overall good preparation. Overall good preparation, not just you know finding out those small small oh this chapter I left out, that chapter I left out. Let me just prepare this chapter and then go for the examination. No, you need overall good preparation, complete preparation is necessary. If you complete prepare, then you will go to the exam. If you have missed out 2-3 marks, then don't be overconfident that there were only a few marks and you will get a paper. No, you need to study more and more. You need to get at least 70 to 80. If you've, if you've scored 48, 49, 46, 47 right now, you should score at least in your 70s or 80s. That should be your target. 
okay i hope that this particular video i have made it specially for those students who are going to prepare again for the examination or or ye bhi samajh jao aap log ke ye exam a competitive a professional examination hai it is way different than a normal regular college like a bcom or an mba ye qualification se ye alag hai here it's real competitive that you need to get that that much marks to qualify whereas in a semester based examination there are assignments there are so many things taken into consideration but here it is just a single exam which you need to go through to pass that particular exam so uska aur iska comparison hai hi nahi bahut sare log nahi samajh payenge isko ke are nahi ho raha hai to shayad nahi hi hoga tumse chhod do that type of a thing can also happen that type of a thing is also advisable but after going through a good counseling with your faculty trainers agar wo log suggest kare is baat ko then you should go ahead but if you've got marks in your 40s then your success is just delayed not denied matlab aapke andar wo shamta hai aapke andar wo qabiliyat hai aapko aur acche se prepare hona hai aur exam prepare karke attempt karna hai so bottom line if you have failed the examination it means you have not prepared well and you need to prepare well ab har paper ke andar ek detailed analysis karna hoga ke kahan galat gaye kyun galat gaye kaisa galat gaye to if you want me to do that so you can reach out to me over instagram dm or something like that so that we can sit down and say that okay these were the areas where you missed out so these are the areas where you need to concentrate more but concentrate overall on the preparation lekin thoda ye areas se shayad aapko nahi aate honge to acche se prepare karenge so this is my uh, take on it on your results i congratulate everyone who have qualified and those who could not my best wishes with you all your success is just delayed not denied main aapke samne baitha hu it's not just because of all getting everything in the first attempt first try it's not like that it is a long journey which i have been through a lot of failures and then success so those failures have helped me who i am today right now so i wish you all the very best and i look forward to see you guys in the next video and if you have any query related to the acc qualification or any such career related doubt then feel free to reach me out on my instagram dm or in the description i'll put down my number you can whatsapp me whatsapp me don't just directly call me i'll not be able to take your call i'm sorry for that just whatsapp me and i'll get in touch with you thank you very much and i see and i'll see you in the next video